for the bulk density test, which is our part D. Also, we need to take three mass readings, but for this one, we are using the cylindrical sample, cylindrical specimen that we made using the compactor. So we have to take uh, the dry weight of the specimen, and also we need to take the saturated surface dry condition, the weight of the specimen and submerged in water, the weight of the specimen when it is submerged in water. So we are using this scale arrangement to find these three different masses. So when the, when the specimen is, the mass of the specimen in air, you can just keep it on this and find it. So we'll take that reading and to find the mass of the specimen when it's submerged in water. So as you see here, this uh, scale is connected to this bucket where we, we can put the bucket inside uh, this water container. So this bucket is hanging on, on this uh, scale. So when we put something here, we can measure the weight of that specimen. So we put the specimen here and we submerge this bucket in the water and we'll leave it for some time because uh, we need to get water inside the specimen. So there are some voids in the specimen. So those voids should be filled with water. So you can see when the specimen is inside, you can see the air bubbles going out. So we'll keep the sample inside water for some time and then we'll measure the weight from the scale. And we take the sample out and in the third mass reading is the saturated surface dry condition, the weight. So we wipe the surface, but still we have the water inside. So we wipe the surface and we take this mass reading as the saturated SSD mass. So you have another table to fill here. So as I told you in the uh, demonstration, we use the 5% sample. We take the sample weight dry condition and then uh, when the mass is in water and also when the mass is in uh, satu air with saturated surface dry condition. We also take the reading of the water because the water density changes with the temperature. So we measure the temperature of that water bucket, water container. If we know all this, you should be able to find. So these are the readings that we take in the lab. The rest are calculations. So you can find the moisture content using this and also you can find this uh, bulk density using this equation or uh, the bulk density here sorry using this equation this density you can find from the table there is a table in your lab notes um, use that table you know the temperature if you know the temperature you can find this density of water at the test temperature so use this is from the table so let's see this in the lab. We are going to do the part D now to find the bulk density of the specimen. So this is the specimen that we got from the compaction machine. For finding the bulk density, we have to take three mass readings. So the mass readings are recorded in the table D1 in your lab notes. And we need to find the mass when the sample is in air and also we need to find the mass when the sample is in water and the sample is in surface saturated dry condition. So we will first take the reading when the sample is in air. So that's our M1 reading in the table. So we are doing for 5%. So we have the other two samples as well here 4% and 6%. The procedure will be the same for the other two percentages. So I'll keep this sample on the scale and this is our M1 reading, the mass of the sample when the sample is in air. So it's 1111, so 1111.55 grams. Now our second reading is M2 when the, the sample is in water. So as you can see here, we have connected this weighing scale to this water bucket. So we are going to put this sample in this bucket and we are going to take the reading of the sample, the mass of the sample in water. So I'll keep the sample in the bucket and we have to leave it there for some time, few, few seconds, till we get rid of the air bubbles and water will fill inside the, uh, the, the voids. Uh, 
After it is stable, we'll take the mass reading from the weighing scale. So it's 637.45 grams and that's our M2 reading. Now I'm going to take the sample out and third reading is this, the mass in surface saturated dry condition. So I'm taking the sample out. And I'll dry the surface of the sample because we need to take the mass in the surface saturated dry condition. Still the water is inside the voids but the surface is wiped off. So we we'll make this to zero and we'll take this reading. So this is our M3 and that's 1129.78 grams. As you see in these readings we can see the weight of the sample is less when it is in water that due to the buoyancy and also we need to take the, the temperature reading from the the water bucket, so I'll use this thermometer to find that. So it's 16 degrees Celsius, we'll write that reading also in the table, 16. The other readings are calculations and you have the, uh, the equations to do those calculations, so these ones are calculations.